Well, Bay Area scientists have invented a new method for tracking tainted produce right to the source. New at 6, KPX5's Kate Kagarin gives us a look at the spray-on technology, which could replace the barcode. You can't see it. You can't taste it. But it's coming to a produce aisle near you. It's DNA tracks, microscopic sprayable DNA sequences that read like a barcode sourced from plant-based materials such as seaweed mixed with sugar, then applied to fruits and veggies after they're picked. It is very quick um, and it's straightforward. Lawrence Livermore lab scientists spent five years developing the technology. They say is so precise in less than an hour, they can trace a piece of produce back to the grower, the field, even the specific row it came from. That time is rapidly getting shorter. New technology that's being developed is in 10 minutes or less. A big motivator for the DNA tracing? Crop contamination from listeria and E. coli. Bay Area entrepreneur Anthony Zagrafos is marketing FDA-approved DNA tracks to growers. Our product costs something in the order of $1 per thousand pounds of produce. Certainly cheaper than a nationwide produce recall. So the amount is really insignificant compared to the liabilities one may incur in the event of an outbreak. Garrett Patricio, a cantaloupe distributor in the Central Valley, will never forget the Listeria outbreak of 2011. Nearly three dozen people were killed and many more got sick from contaminated cantaloupe grown in Colorado. Tragedy that we definitely do not want to live through again. Patricio's fruit wasn't contaminated, not even close, but his company will participate in a DNA tracks trial later this year. But he still has some unanswered questions about how technology will work during an actual outbreak. What happens in the event of a food safety outbreak when that melon no longer exists? What happens when suddenly I have um, you know, people sick in three or four or five different geographic locations? How do I then ensure where that product came from. Berkeley-based Friends of the Earth are questioning the safety of the DNA spray, although it's already been approved by the FDA. The group thinks more regulation is needed. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kate Kogiran, KPIX 5.